Hello and welcome to Lahori Expat Kitchen. Uh, today I'll be teaching you how to make basmati rice with peas. Uh, this is a very simple recipe, doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients and the rice turned out really really good um, and, and you can eat that with chicken curry which I have a separate video you should watch that and both of these combination of, of basmati rice with peas and chicken curry go together beautifully. So let's go over the ingredients first and then I'll show you how to cook it. Okay, so here we have one glass of rice. Now, let me show you the container actually. Uh, so this is the glass that I used. Um, you can see the video uh, how I measured this. Now, it's important that you keep that measurement with you because uh, the amount of water that you will need to add into the rice uh, and the amount of rice that you're using, uh, that is very critical. So keep that in mind. So I use this normal glass. Uh, this rice is a uh, sella from, from Pakistan. Uh, it's, a, it's a form of a basmati rice. Uh, you can find that in an Indian store. So I have uh, basically rinsed it, it a couple of times and then soaked it in water for about one hour. Next we have half an onion. This is very thinly sliced and about quarter cup of avocado oil. Uh, I don't use um, extra virgin olive oil for rice because that has a very different unique flavor and that kind of, you know, you need a, a very neutral kind of oil. So avocado oil is great. And then we have one cup of uh, frozen peas, one teaspoon of salt, and in the, in the whole spices we have one stick of cinnamon, two black cardamoms, about 10 black peppercorns, one teaspoon of, of cumin seeds, and about six to seven cloves. All right, so let's begin. Turn on the heat to about medium, medium heat. And we will add quarter cup of avocado oil in it. All right, so the oil is heat up now. We're gonna add the whole spices in it. Give it a quick stir. And right after that, we're going to add the sliced onion. So the heat seems to be a little high. I'm going to turn it to, to about medium low. So while the onions are frying, I'm going to get the water for the rice. We're going to fry these onions till they turn dark brown. And uh, we have the water right here. So at that point when it, they turn dark brown, it is very critical that you add the water right away. Otherwise they will start to burn. So make sure that you know you have the water already by your side while you're frying the onions. So the onions have been frying for about, I would say eight minutes or so. And you can see them that they've started to, you know, turn brown. Uh, so we'll give it another 30 seconds or so, then we'll start adding water. So let me start measuring the water in the meantime while they are frying. So again, we will add, so we had one glass of rice, so we're gonna add two glasses of water in it. Now let's check real quick, yeah. So see, now they're almost to a stage where they will start burning if I wait a little longer. So I'm gonna add one cup of water, I mean one glass of water. And here comes the other glass. And there's a second glass of water. Let's stir it a little bit. Now the color, the brownish color of the basmati rice or Indian style basmati rice um, when cooked that comes from uh, the brown onion. So you can see that as I added the water, uh, the color is basically kind of a little light brown and the rice will absorb that color and they'll become beautiful, you know, uh, aromatic and flavorful. Same time, we are going to add the frozen peas and one teaspoon of salt. All right, 
I'm going to stir this. Um, now what I'm going to do is to turn the heat up a little bit because we need to bring this water to a boil. And also I'm going to cover this. This rice that I had soaked, uh, it's time for, it, for me to drain these rice now. So we will add that rice once the water starts boiling. So I'm going to drain them. All right, so it looks like the water started to boil. Yep. At this point, we're going to add the rice. All right, I'm gently going to mix it in. Okay. So now, we're going to cover this and wait for the water to, to boil. Again. Once the water starts to boil again, we will lower the heat. So at this point, the heat is still kind of high. It won't take that long, maybe 30 seconds or a minute. And let's see how things are. All right, so the water has started to boil. We'll stir it a little bit. And then cover it and turn the heat to low. So we're going to cook this rice now at low heat for about 10 minutes. And we'll check after 10 minutes how the water content is and how the rice look. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, so rice have been cooking on low heat. So let's see how things are looking. Yep, so it's still quite a bit of water in it. We're gonna cover it, let it cook for another five minutes or so and we'll check. All right, so it's been another five minutes, so I'm going to see how things are. Yeah, it's still quite a bit of water in it, so I'm just going to gently stir this to make sure that, you know, the rice don't break. Let me check how much it's done. Take one rice and... Yeah, it's almost cooked. All we need to now do is to wait for the water to dry up a little bit. So, I'd say give, give it another three or four minutes. All right, it's been another three minutes. Just going to open it. Yep, it's almost done. So at this point, what I'm going to do is to cover it and turn off the heat. And we will wait another 10 minutes or so before, you know, the rice are settled and we will fluff it up at that point. So another 10 minutes, but there is no heat at this point. The stove has been turned off. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes uh, since we have turned off the stove and the rice have been resting. So let's take a look. Yep, so they're all done. At this point, we're just going to fluff them up a little bit. There you go. And these are ready to be served now. All right, so there you have it. Chicken curry with basmati rice and peas. So I'm going to give it a try. Give it a piece of chicken. Some basmati rice. Mmm. Still good.